It's a journey that will take you back in time. Back to the year 1854, when two explorers set off across the mysterious African continent on a quest. It was a quest to achieve knowledge and to achieve greatness. It was a quest that would make friendships and break them just as easily. It was a quest to find the legendary Mountains of the Moon. Mountains of the Moon was the, the mountain range where the ultimate um, source of the Nile was. And they called it the Mountains of the Moon because they were desolate and uh, eerie and uh, mysterious. Action. Using real African locations, director Bob Rathelson recreated the journey of Richard Burton and John Hanning Speak, the real-life explorers who went searching for the Mountains of the Moon and got more than they bargained for. My first line. Rifle. Don't shoot those beauties, Jack. I'll see if I can drive them off. And I'll stay right here, Dick. Just in case you fail. This picture is very specifically about the relationship of Richard Burton and John Henning Speak and about the day-to-day -day activity of what it's like to trek for three years across the country. As traveling teams go, Burton and Speak were not ideally suited for each other. Speak was driven by the promise of fame and glory that finding the Nile would bring him, whereas Burton cared more about what he could learn as he went along. So we open up that question as to whether the journey is more important or whether the goal is more important. Newcomer Patrick Bergen plays Richard Burton as an explorer who was as worldly as he was mysterious. I've seen a man raised from the dead in India. I've kissed the Holy Stone in Kaaba at Mecca. I've read Confucius, the Quran, and the Kabbalah in their original manuscripts. One woman who was completely fascinated by Burton was Isabel Arundel, played by Fiona Shaw. If I were a man, I'd be Richard Burton. She so adored him that to validate her life, she has to celebrate him, and she does. There's a wonderful scene where he begins to drink and he stops doing anything, and she just tells him to get going. Well, then fight! Fight for it! Fight for your name! Fight for your honor! If you don't, then I'm lost! Burton does decide to pursue his dream, setting off to Africa to search for the source of the Nile. Along the way, he gets some unexpected support from John Hanning Speak, a wayward British aristocrat, played by Ian Glenn. The Jemadar should not be in charge of the caravan. Then put yourself in charge, Jack. Yes, that's yes, very well. I already have. He really spent all his, all his life um, shooting, hunting, and then got the idea through Burton, I think, to, uh, to become an explorer. And as they set out across Africa, Burton and Speak find themselves in constant danger with animals, the elements, and fierce African natives. For Mountains of the Moon, the filmmakers took special care in depicting the look and the lifestyles of the many and varied African tribes. One of the things we're really determined to do is show tribal behavior accurately and in a way that's never been seen before. And it's really quite unusual and bizarre tribal behavior. Don't be offended. It's a blessing. It's all right. As the journey progresses, a genuine friendship does develop between Burton and Speak. <laughs> Speak! It's a friendship that strengthens as they work side by side to fight for survival in the hostile African wilds. But it's a friendship that is threatened when paranoia and betrayal undermine the expedition. Say what you mean! You want to give up and go back, don't you? John Hanning Speak! In the end, Burton and Speak add their pages to history as they realize their goals. Mountains of the Moon is exciting. It's a mixture of a love story and an adventure. It's kind of epic, really. 
I find this picture wonderfully entertaining. place no civilized man had ever seen. What was this? One came in search of knowledge. Don't be offended. It's a blessing. The other, in search of glory. Two strangers made brothers by a savage land. Two friends made enemies by a civilized nation. Two weeks ago, Speak committed an act of treachery. He saved my life many times. Well, then go to him. Everyone, please. Gentlemen, please. Fight for it. Fight for your honor. Two men made triumphant by their courage and loyalty. Together, they would risk everything. To make history in the mountains of the moon. <laughs> <laughs> 